As I think about our current contemporary situation here in the United States in 2010, it seems to me as though people are totally overwhelmed, overtaken by the so-called ego values. They seek higher levels of status, more income, uh, more security, and these strike me as what I call, I think you do too, ego values in contrast to the body values. Well again, they're, they're looking for something outside that's going to make them feel good and be healthy instead of looking inside and that's part of that same it's not quite projection in that sense but it's externalization it's looking outside when they need to be looking inside to see what the problems are and I think that also touches on an interesting difference in bioenergetics from other body-oriented approaches. Much work on the body seems to me to be directed towards making the body be a certain way. Yeah. Whether it's the image, or whether it's a performance, or whether it's an adherence to numbers. Right. Uh, <clears throat> And in bioenergetics, that really does go out the window. Yeah, because we really get to what the organism needs, the total organism needs to be in balance, uh, energetically and emotionally and psychologically, uh, which is not an easy thing, but it is possible. And then if we get all those things in balance, then we feel good and we enjoy life and we have good health. Another thing, again, socially speaking, is it is my belief uh, that many people really have a very poor sense of themselves and this again in my view leads to people's behavior to be like sheep yeah. and even though they understand intellectually that how we live is not sustainable and it's not healthy uh, again, for reasons of pursuing those values of the ego, power, status, money, security. Well, that's, the, the more people get focused on, on trying to solve problems with their mind, or intellectually, which is the way our culture is going, the less they're connected to their body, and they're going the wrong way, because we, we cannot really solve the problems in our bodies, whether emotional or mental or physical, just from outside solutions. We have to look how we're out of balance and, and what the organism needs to, uh, to set it right. And, and our whole culture is focused on not only the drug companies, uh, but everybody. If you just have a, have a better car or if you have a, a vacation in Hawaii or what, Whatever it's going to be, everything's going to be fine. And and this and this I recall is where I was interested to explore. I think that that really detracts from a person's sense of their own self. Right. And certainly the aim, I believe, of any good psychotherapeutic technique right. is to help a person gain their own sense of self. Right. But the body work, as it's done in bioenergetics, is certainly a powerful way. It's a powerful tool, I think you would agree, to help people gain a sense of themselves. And it's my hope that as people gain a, a stronger sense of themselves, each and every one, that perhaps we won't let these governments and corporations get away like they have done so well these past 30, 40 years. Um, but that's just my hope for... Well, that, that's a hope, but I... There's only a number of bioenergetic therapists and, and the number of clients is so small, uh, percentage-wise, the, the clients that hear about bioenergetics and get involved really appreciate the therapy and appreciate what it can do. But there's one new thing that has given me some hope that more people might get a little taste of, of our work, and that comes from a, a fellow named David Berselli, who apparently had training in bioenergetics, and he, he first was interested in post-traumatic stress syndrome, which occurs to so many people in our culture, especially soldiers, but a lot of other people too, 
and he developed this system uh, which he can present in one or two days in, in a workshop of essentially grounding and then and then getting the vibrations going which in itself without any talking without any emotional uncovering of, of anything uh, reduces stress and and reduces tension so they have he's found out in in uh, working with soldiers uh, in the United States Army uh, that they can really be of great help to the soldiers functioning better and feeling better and uh, when they had the horrible earthquakes in China several years ago he went there and trained a lot of uh, local people just to teach these exercises and help a lot and and uh, now he's had other people to help him train one of whom is Heiner Steckel so that uh, this is spreading actually throughout the world quite fast so that some police Department. forces department have some of the uh, some of the guys have been involved in stress with shootings and stuff like that attend these workshops and find quite a bit of relief and so I think the general trend is good and a very few of those people then begin to realize that there's another layer of emotional problems and then they want help so that's the first hopeful sign I've seen that maybe our work can spread uh, and become helpful uh, to a much uh, larger percentage of the people. Well that's excellent to hear from you Frank because uh, you may or may not know we did have uh, a workshop just in March in New Canaan with Dr. Bruselli. Yeah I know that and I'm and, glad you did. And I agree wholeheartedly that the work that Dr. Bruselli has done and I've told him myself I feel is 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 the most innovative work uh, new work that's been done with bioenergetics since uh, since dad yeah and just for the reasons that you say it can be used by anybody yeah it's not restricted to the work in the psychotherapy office well I like to think that the future of bioenergetics really does look a lot like that with people gaining value from working with the body in exercise workshops not necessarily going deeply into the emotions as in psychotherapy but as you say as people gain some experience working with the body they will realize that there is emotional yeah. stuff that can be gone after yeah and I, I too I, I like to think that the kind of work that David's done is really a breath of fresh air for all of us in the bioenergetic community I know our time's getting short Frank but I don't want to let you go without getting a little bit of your sense as to what role or what does bioenergetics teach us perhaps about some of the physical disorders and well, some they, of the medical they, issues. They, almost any medical problem can be helped by the bioenergetic work uh, of understanding and expressing held emotions and getting the grounding and the vibrations going because that's where the aliveness is, is in the biological organism, huh? Or the lack of it. And so uh, I've, I've worked with uh, patients with cancer and heart disease and arthritis and oh, a whole host of, not that we can cure it, but we can help the organism with more energy and help the immune system build up so that the organism is in better shape to cope with whatever the disease process is and it can it really works there's no question about it and uh, I'm hoping that actually that the Vercelli approach which is not emotional non-threatening that's why it's not threatening at all people don't have to get, get into their emotions can help in this direction too as a matter of fact Diane who's already here from North Carolina just recently did uh, a workshop with physicians with patients with chronic pain who have been really suffering so much and not responding to the usual mechanisms to relieve pain and they found although it's very very new they just did it recently it's not it's not they haven't had time to study it but they they did the Vercelli exercise with these patients and 
they were very surprised, at least initially, how much better the clients feel, felt and, and how they were taken to it. So if this kind of thing can even has started a little bit, if that can spread using that approach in physical conditions, I think that there might be some hope there that, that uh, people can begin to see what, what the good effects can happen by then deep going deeper and getting into bioenergetic therapy. Well, thank you, Frank. It's, well, I, I enjoyed visiting with you, and I, you, uh, these are all very important topics to everybody, and I uh, have hope that, uh, that maybe people will, once they realize that finding their aliveness helps them feel better and helps them have better health, even through the exercises, that they'll get more interested and then then be able to get into therapy. So that is a positive hope that's coming up. And isn't that really what it does all come down to is that bioenergetics is a way to feel better. Yeah, to, to feel emotionally and physically better and, and to enjoy life. That's what it's about. Well, thank okay. you, Frank. Thank you, Fred. And, uh, <coughs> and uh, I look forward to the workshop this weekend. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow.